What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to this series where we take a look at the best players for all budgets. First up, we did have center forwards. Now we turn our attentions to center backs. So first up, we've got Rudiger, okay? So again, Rudiger, the cost per what you're getting for this guy, he is a beastly player, but I don't think he's reached the heights. His standard card doesn't reach the heights of what other cards have come out. I would definitely keep an eye out for this guy. He is a destroyer. He's got excellent player skills. He is missing a couple of key ones. But for his price, I do think that he is a good one to start off with if you've got the money. We also have Delict. So Delict's cost is probably one of the most expensive in the game for a centre-back. Um, he is a monster. With the new gameplay, he's quite slow. So that will kind of put him at a disadvantage unless you are a really good tactical defender. His awareness and all that is quite high. Not as aggressive as other players. He's a build-up, so he's not a destroyer. That is kind of a hard one to, to kind of gauge depending on how good you are as a player. Next up, we've got this budget option. So I know you guys love the budget options. And as I've said, let me know if you want training guides to go along with these. The videos will be slightly longer. Uh, but let me know if that's something that you want, right? Um, but this guy, look at the actual player skills that this guy has. Insane. This is what it's all about sometimes is finding these hidden gems and being able to use them in your squad. Especially when you're starting off learning the mechanics. You can't go wrong for that price point. And then, of course, one of my favorites, it is Timber. So this guy needs no introduction, really. If you've played eFootball 22 or 23, you probably have had him in your squad. You probably still have a version of him in your squad. If you are starting brand new, you've got it all. Pace, power, skills, defense. He's just an absolute animal that can play multiple positions across the back line as well for you. Comfortable on in the air or on the ground. We also have Ostegaard. So this guy, a little bit of a hidden gem as well, right? You've got the player skills, which are insane. He's pretty much got every single defensive player skill that you have uh, available in the game, right? You have him. He also has got a good baseline stat of aggression. He's not the fastest, but you are dependent on his player skills here. So I definitely think he's worth a punt if you're struggling to find somebody and you've got limited GP starting off. Now on to the kind of big boys, right? So I did kind of argue back and forth with myself. Would I put Kunde here? Would I put him at the top of the pile? I think Kunde at three is probably for the current gameplay, right? He's a better version of Timber, who we saw a second ago. But I don't think because he's an extra front man, I think that does take from him. And yes, he's fast. Yes, he's quick. Yes, he's mobile. But I do think his best position is right back. Now, obviously, we're sticking to, you know, positions that they're down as in this game. Uh, I would be playing him right back. There is no one really as good as him apart from maybe wan -Bissaka. He's insane if you can get him for that price point. We also have Van Dijk. So Liverpool fans will be loving this one. Van Dijk is second on the list for the second best centre back to start with. He is available in the match pass. If you do have a couple of coins or you wanted to put in a couple of coins, you could get this better version of Van Dijk. Um, but the standard card starts off at 82 overall. He's not that expensive. I think he's about 180,000 as you see there on screen. He's missing one or two little things. But because of the gameplay at the moment, he's better than Ruben Diaz up in Meccano. Uh, any of those guys. So who is number one? It has to be my main man Marquinhos. Lads. This guy has no equal as far as I'm concerned. He's, you know, tall enough to be aer aerial superiority and all that sort of stuff. He's tall enough to be good in the air. Um, his price point, we have him at a, what, 180,000. So he's in a similar line as the top guys, but he's still not over that 200,000 mark. Excellent, excellent player. He's never let me down, no matter which version of Marquinhos I have used in the last three seasons, including this eFootball 24. He's just insane. He can do it all, play a bit of ball on the ground as well. You see with the stats there. And the player skills leave nothing to chance. He's got everything, lads. He literally has every single thing that you could possibly want. Acceleration, when you train him up, is quite nice. You get that 75, 78, depending on how you train him. Um, but yeah, that's it for center backs. As I said, any feedback, if you do want training guys to go along with these, it will extend this, the, the length of the video up by maybe about two or three minutes. But let me know what you guys want. You drive the ship here. Um, until next time, don't forget to subscribe. That's my top eight center backs. We'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.